Good morning, my friends. This is Coffee Talk. And uh, no, I do not live in a gown all day long. It's just that the best time for me is morning time. Just in case you guys are just now viewing me. I, I've, I've gotten so many new subscribers and I'm just so blessed to see all of you come and uh, join me in my channel. So thank you. Welcome. I hope you stick around. Um, today's question is, uh, is asking me, what do I think about dumping? Let me go right to the question. Now, some of the questions that I get are short enough to where I can read them. And then some of them, I get letters. And so I have to kind of like pull out the question. But this was easy. She says, I am either blessed or cursed. I can't decide which. I do not dump. I've tried to make myself sick and nothing makes me sick. Has that ever happened to you? I am only three months out from RNY gastric bypass and seems like I can binge with no problem. Help me, please. Now, I will never mention the person's name that gave me the question because it's personal, right? So never fear. Uh, I will only read the question or pull the question out from whatever you send me if it's too long. But anyway, so yes, um, I have felt like you. Uh, I'm eight years out and uh, believe it or not, I one time tested the waters to find out if I dumped or not. Unfortunately, I didn't really have to test the waters because I got sick right away. I learned that... Um, Milk made me sick, so like if I had, I was eating pudding at the beginning and I was just getting sick. Oh my goodness. And I was having mashed potatoes with butter. Oh, I was getting sick. <laughs> All the wrong stuff, right? So I'm a dumper from way, way, way back. And, um, you know, you say that I'm, e I'm either blessed or cursed. I think that I think that we want when we have gastric bypass or any surgery really we want to be able to dump. We want we want the surgery to make us stop doing all the bad things. And in reality this is what we have to work with. We've had to work with this one really from the get-go, from the beginning. Uh, dumping does help for us to say, if I eat that, I'm going to get sick. And I've tested the waters. I know what makes me sick. In my case, I can't have milk, but I can have cheese. I can't have ice cream. Even sugar-free ice cream makes me sick. But I can have um, uh, yogurt. Now, I've had the skinny cows, and uh, I thought I was doing good. One day I, I ate them. I ate them at Tony's and really, really enjoyed them and uh, got sick. Uh, had, a, had just nausea the rest of the night, and uh, I thought, well, it couldn't have been that because, you know, I've had skinny cows before. It didn't make me sick. Tried them again. I was sick. So, what I learned was it wasn't so much the skinny cow and it's the whole thing. It was that I was eating the whole skinny cow. If I cut it in half and I eat half of it, I'm good to go. It's the amount. And so, sometimes it's learning what your portion control is because... You know, some of us can eat uh, one-fourth of food at the beginning, and then a half a cup, and then a cup, and then a cup and a half. It depends on how big your they made your tummy. I'm eight years out, and I can still eat a cup of food and be very, very satisfied. In fact, I still eat... I buy these little plates, because this, 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 this happens to be a little plate. It's not a big plate. There's food on it. That's why I don't want to show you the rest of it. But uh, that was my breakfast this morning. But, um, you know, so where am I going with this? Anyway, so knowing what you dump on is, is a big help. Uh, 
But when you don't dump, then, you know, you're only three months out. I wouldn't completely say that you don't dump. Because even though you've tested the waters, you still may not know exactly uh, what, what, what you could dump on. Uh, there's things that I ate at the beginning and didn't get sick. And then there's times where I thought I ate it, ate it again and got sick. I mean sick. And there's all kinds of ways you can get sick. Sometimes there's um, where you feel like there's heat in the back of your, your neck. And sometimes your heart's palpitating. And then there's sometimes where you just, you just got to lay down. And you got to lay down on your right or your left side. It doesn't matter as long as you're on your side. And, and then your stomach cramps up. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to dump. I'm not, don't, that's another subject. <laughs> um, I'm getting a hot flash, guys. Can you tell? I'm menopausing, guys, in case you don't know. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't totally say you don't dump yet. I would wait the whole year. I would wait, you know. and uh, But, you know, there is people that tell me they don't dump. And then come two, three years, they found out that they got sick on a certain thing. You know, maybe only once in their whole time. And uh, maybe they learn to stay away from their from their things that they get sick on. I get sick with oil, butter, milk, uh, ice cream, like I told you. Um, uh, I cannot have Splenda. I've tried Splenda many times. I think that's what uh, Skinny Cow uses to make theirs. Uh, so that's probably why I can only have so much of it, a uh, half. Um, so... There's just things that you're going to learn to take your body through. And, um, you know, I'm either blessed or cursed. I, 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 I thought that was funny. Count it a blessing, sweetheart. You're still only able to eat so much food. You know, your surgery, you still have a tool. Be blessed that the tool is working or the tools, you know, you don't want to... Go out and test all the waters or learn to binge, you know. You just have to learn to take your path and learn to see what works for you. And, um, you know, what works for me may not work for you. And uh, there's things that, you know, I make for my husband. I will not make it for me. A lot of you have commented and said, give that to Blue Eyes. Well, Blue Eyes won't eat it. <laughs> Ha! Don't I wish? And the ones that know blue eyes, they know. I, I'm not kidding. He won't eat it. He ain't gonna eat it. He'll go out and get his own stuff. <laughs> so, I do my best. Um, there's things that someone was asking me if I would make a sweet something something for when uh, the sweet tooth hits. And I do have a recipe. I'll come back later and give you that recipe. It's made with flaxseed. Um, I do have a protein cake that I made. Not everybody likes it because it's kind of dry. Uh, but it's out there. It's in my videos. Um, you know, there's just things that uh, I've learned to cook with. And uh, just, it's not going to be a perfect, like, like the cake I made. Well, it's, it's not going to it's not supposed to be a cake like uh like you would make um uh like you would make a real cake you know but it's as close as i could get to it that uh i enjoyed it um so i'm learning how to use the coconut uh flour i still haven't bought it but i you know I, i've seen recipes that you can use the coconut flour you can use the flaxseed meal now the flaxseed meal i like because it's all fiber and so I would rather use that. And I, I make these little pancakes. And uh, that's what I had for breakfast this morning. And I don't do sweet in the morning hardly. But sometimes I wake up wanting one. And um, so I'll, I'll give you that recipe later. But anyway, um, I'm at nine minutes. Not sure if I helped you at all, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, just know that uh, there's a lot of us that uh, sometimes wish that... Uh, we had it another way, but, you know, I'm just blessed to have had the tool and uh, be blessed that 
I can, uh, you know, live my life in a smaller body, you know? And uh, if I had not dumped, I don't know, you know, if I would be here right now, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if, if, if the dumping has really been a blessing to me. Of course it's been a blessing. I shouldn't say, it, you know, yeah, of course it's been a blessing. Uh, because I know I'm going to get sick. But at the same time, I still test the waters. I'm not perfect. And so there's just ways that um, you have to learn, you know, and tell yourself, do I want to go forward or do I want to go backwards? Because we've done the up and down yo-yo thing all our life. Now, this is a, this is a lifestyle that we're going to live for the rest of our lives. And we are so blessed to have these surgeries, you know. I mean, I'm coming from a body that was 487 pounds. I'm 160. The scale still hasn't moved, people. <laughs> but I'm getting older. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting a little wiser. But uh, I do my best to learn with everything that I go through. I hope you do the same. I love you. And again, I hope you learned something today. Not sure if I taught anything today, but, you know, all I can do is give you my experiences. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, be scientific about anything. All I can do is tell you my journey, what I've lived through. And I got a lot more to go through. <laughs> You're never ending. You're, this is never an ending thing. This is a learning process for the rest of our lives. And that's the best thing. I love you guys. I'll be back. Bye for now.